welcome to expertizer academy today we're going to see um, in the autocad plugin development how to split one particular selected viewport and then um, that is like whatever the viewport that you have selected we're going to split it and then set uh, one of the viewports that is newly created as the active viewport and then I'm going to prompt um, and then there is going to be a prompt that shows list of all the viewports and which is active. OK, um, so this will be in relation to the previous exercise creating model viewport. Uh, so if you look at the code, it's it's pretty much exactly the same. Um, so let me quickly run through what we're doing here. So first is we're getting the active document and then we get the database of the current drawing. And uh, so we, we open a transaction and then we get the viewport table. And uh, so that is for right and open the active viewport for right. So this one straight away, whatever the current viewport that we have on the drawing, we're going to start writing into it. So we're going to get the current viewport, which is active. And uh, so we're going to we're going to create a new view table record and uh, we're going to create uh, pretty much what we're doing is whatever the viewport that you selected, we're going to split it into two horizontals. OK, so then uh, we're going to assign uh, the second horizontal that we created as the active one. I'll walk you through shortly and uh, use the existing lower left corner of the viewports. This is you getting the viewport uh, dimensions to specify. Uh, let's say if you're splitting uh, a rectangle, so you get the coordinates of the existing rectangle and then split them into two rectangles. And um, so recalculate the corners and then update the display with the tilted uh, title new viewport so that we're gonna what the new port we created we're gonna update it and then uh, we're gonna iterate through the uh, viewports and we're gonna show some prompts saying that okay this is what we have created and this is what we're gonna set it as active so let's quickly run through the example so it's a bit clearer so I'm gonna open AutoCAD and all these exercises are for 2018 and uh, I see no reason why it shouldn't work on 2019 if you just update the libraries and uh, then it, I think it should be fine. So let's try it out. So here we go. We got AutoCAD here. So let's use the net load command. All right. So this is going to be split. And split and iterate model viewport. Press enter. And then it shows you active viewport. Two is now active. And then the left corner, which is the this one is 0, 0, 0.5. And the upper right corner is 1, 1. Click OK. And now the viewport 3 is active. Remember the first single viewport is 1. And then when we split it, it becomes 2 and 3. And now what is the left corner and what is the top right corner? Click OK. So now if I select this one, if I run this command again, now it splits that first um, box into two of them. So now it tells you that viewport two is now active. That is um, the previous one, the full box, and then this one. Okay, and then it sets the new viewport, the second rectangle box, uh, into active state. So then you can create, select this one or this one or this one, whichever, and then run the command again. It splits that into two, and then sets this one to active state. OK, so if you run through the example, it's much easier to understand. So all right. Thanks, guys. And uh, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, let me know. And uh, once I get through all the current exercises, which in the dev guide, um, so we'll do some more uh, advanced stuff as well. So if there is any specific things that you want to do, uh, just let me know. All right. Thanks, guys.